And Munir Lizez, I mean, he looked like a seasoned kickboxer out there, brother. But Angelusa, he did one thing that I thought was very detrimental to his game plan. He wasn't able to secure the takedown, and then he just stopped shooting for it. I think it was a, I think it was a cardio thing. I think he was like, bro, I'm coming here four days notice. I'm too tired for this. I, I, I can't do this. But either way. Striking with Lizez is the worst case scenario, like solely striking with Lizez, the worst fucking thing in the world that you can do because he picks you apart. How impressive was this performance by Munir Lizez? Like his hands, his feet, he was sharp on all aspects. We're looking at head strikes, 98. Uh, body strikes, 23. Leg strikes, 20. So he was all across the board. He was hitting them with everything. What'd you make of it? Man, he was looking like a technician out there. And this, this is what I was expecting, man. This is why I went with Lazez, man. He's just, if he's in his element striking, kickboxing, he is sharp. Like you said, Derek, mixing them up wherever, legs, body, head, doesn't matter. This dude can fire anytime, anywhere, and still land with precision and power, dude. Manu Luzez is, is a serious force to reckon with. But honestly, Derek, I was also a little impressed with Angelosa, man. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be uh, the fact that he was able to go the full 15 minutes and not get finished. I thought he was going to get finished early, maybe end of round one, round two. I thought that's where, you know, the, the gas tank, the natural energy, you know, the, uh, the, the adrenaline dump. That's where I thought all that was going to end. But this dude stayed with him, man. He stayed with it, and he was landing big power shots. There was a couple times, even in that third round, where I was thinking, I was like, oh, shit, Losa might come back with one crazy one and just get something where we've never seen, you know, like so a left park out of nowhere. So... I was pretty impressed with both fighters right there. And as good as Munir Lazez was in the striking, I was also just as impressed with Angelosa, man. What about you? I will say this is a fight that I thought warranted a rematch down the line when Losa can get a full camp. But I do think that he, he, he proved that he belongs in the UFC. I mean, that's what Gilbert Burns was telling him. Gilbert Burns was in the corner talking to him. You need to show them that you belong here. Like, go out there, throw your right hand. Throw your right hand, because when you when you throw it, it lands. And every time you throw it, it landed, brother. So it's like, I think he just needed to believe in himself a little bit more. But it's hard to do that when you got a what a six two dude just picking you apart from range all day long. Everything he throws at you is landing. I mean, one forty one of two sixty, brother. His strike accuracy was pretty pretty on fire right there. So Lazez, um, this is but we, he did what we already knew he could do. This wasn't something that was like new, like, oh, shit, his striking looks impressive. What we need to see is how he, I mean, he was impressive how he was able to defend the takedowns, but against a fighter who will be more relentless with the takedowns, that's when I'll be more impressed. For now, I already knew he can do this. I went with Losa because I thought that would have been a good upset pick, but it wasn't our day. It wasn't my day. It wasn't his day. Either way. Lizez, brother. I mean, phenomenal. He did get himself into a little bit of controversy that uh, I don't know too much of, so I'm not going to speak too much of, but I guess he was praising some dudes who there was some some conflict, U.S. mafia ties. Uh, crazy, right? Look how I get the intrigue right here. I probably shouldn't even let off with this, given that I have zero information. But folks, I do encourage you to go hit the Googles, uh, look up Munir Lizez, and then just hit news or something, because they're probably writing articles about it. It was interesting. It was interesting. It was, it was on the Twitter sphere when I was talking about this. But when we're talking about fights, we know that was a big win by Munir Lizez. And with that being said, folks, that was your UFC Vegas 51 main card. So